Is it okay if I call you my product, babe? I ain't no player, I just got a lot of babe. But let me tell you, I like you a lot, babe. I wanna start at the top and the bottom, babe. Now you want the shoe with the red at the bottom, babe. You know I like when you right at the top, babe. She wants your name, name, and D-O-Yo. -Yo. I'm only doing cash, I don't need promo. I pull up to the high rise, I'm in the 4 4 what is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys my recipe for mulitas and or the famous cheese tacos. First you're going to set your crock pot onto high and then add two cups of chicken broth. As well as two packets of taco seasoning. It doesn't matter which kind, just whatever's your favorite. And add in your favorite choice of seasoning. For this, I use Johnny's seasoning salt, some parsley flakes, crushed red pepper, black pepper, minced garlic, and some garlic sriracha. Next, you're going to mix it all together and add in your chili pods. To do this, I just take the tops off and put in the seeds. Due to other people's dietary needs, I didn't put a lot in, so you can use as many as you would like. And then I just take a whole one and I put it in. Before I start on my chicken, I always clean out the sink. So we're going to be using only four chicken breasts. You can add more if you would like, but I'm only going to be using four for this. And I'm going to be rinsing off my chicken and taking off any excess fat. This will make it easier to shred. Next, you're going to add taco seasoning. You're going to use the rest of that last packet as well as another packet. And then you're also going to add in your choice of seasonings again. Once you coat all of the chicken, what I normally do, this is optional, but I take a knife and I just kind of poke holes through each of them. I feel like the juice gets through better. And then we're gonna be adding our chicken breast into the crock pot. Put the lid on and let it cook for about two hours. Don't forget to clean the sink. After the two hours was up, I added a little bit of onion as well as half of a cup of water. Then you're going to want to flip each chicken breast over, cover and let cook for another 15 minutes. Okay, after your 15 minutes is up, you're going to take each chicken breast and use two forks to shred all the chicken apart. After finishing shredding the chicken, you're going to dump it back into the crock pot, cover and let cook again while you cook your tortillas. Turn your stove top on to medium high heat and you're going to use white corn tortillas and some oil and you're just going to pour the oil into the pan and add your tortillas and make sure they're all covered in oil. And you're gonna let cook until you see bubbles starting to form. Then you're gonna flip and cook again. Cook as many as you would like. Mm -hmm. 
Next, you're gonna take some of the broth and scoop it into a bowl. And in a separate bowl, you're gonna add some chicken. I scoop a little bit of sauce as well, just to keep the chicken moist. In that same pan, you're gonna add a little bit of oil. Next, you're gonna take a new tortilla, dip it into the broth, pour some of the broth into the pan, and then add your tortilla that you just dipped. After you see some bubbles forming, you're gonna to wanna to flip, add a little bit more broth, and then let cook again. You're gonna flip it one last time and look for the crispy edges. Next, you're gonna add your choice of cheese and spread evenly. Then place one of those tortillas that we made earlier on top. Add another layer of cheese and some chicken. Make sure not to add too much chicken. Now you're gonna take one in and fold it in half and just hold it down. You're gonna let it cook for about 20 to 25 seconds. Flip and then let cook again for about 20, 25 seconds. And then you're all done. I'm gonna make another one just for show. And there you have it, we're all done. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring the bell.